Welcome to the Seagull JCC Facebook live stream. I'm, yikes. I've had a few technical difficulties this morning, so you're going to catch me while I'm putting on my shoes. So sorry. So, but maybe that gives you time to put on your sneaks as well. So we've got a nice little conditioning class this morning. Today is Friday. Woohoo! And so um, if you've been following us all week, we have had some awesome classes this week. So Mondays we begin slow and we'll do this for next Monday as well. We give you a sunrise yoga at 7 a.m. Woo! Then at 10 a.m with me that's like a nice little cardio and then a five o'clock yoga with Courtney so that'll be on Monday coming up today if you already did guts and butts with Alexis yay if not you can do it later today or tomorrow and I've got a um, a nice little conditioning like I said and we'll do three minute cardio bursts in between if you don't want to do the cardio bursts no worries do, I'll give you an alternative, okay? Um, this afternoon or this evening at five, we've got yoga tation with Melissa. She's gonna do 30 minutes of yoga followed by 15 minutes of meditation. It sounds awesome. It sounds like a great way to finish out our week. Um, today, like I said, cardio and some, uh, I'm sorry, conditioning with cardio burst. So we're gonna channel our inner yogis, we're gonna do a little bar, we're gonna do a little classic calisthenics. So, are you ready? Let me move this out of the way. If you want, you can use a stool. If you want, I've got a little cloth. It's actually an old washcloth, so I can slide across the floor a little bit. And then I've got some dumbbells, but you can use a can of beans, a can of peaches, whatever you want. All right. So let's just start with a little warm up. Looks like we lost our fast song here. Maybe this one will work. Sounds a little slow, no worries. Let's just start with walking it out. Exhale down. Big breath in, reach those arms up. Stretch them out. Really, really work to your full height. Third time, exhale down. Inhale up, one more. Exhale down, inhale up. Bring it down, let's just do a side twist. Come up on the ball of the foot, little pivot. Oh, let's reach it across. Stretch through those shoulders. Let's walk that arm up and up. Still kind of a little pivot with a twist. Let's take both arms up. Bring those arms shoulder height. Bring it on down, little step test. Or a march, if you don't like to tap, I have somebody that told me this was dancing. So if you don't like to do your tap, just go ahead and march it out. Let's just do a little two step to the right. One and two, to the left, again. Two steps, and two, and two. Let's walk it up. Come toward me. Walk it back. Quarter turn to the right. Walk. To the front. Quarter turn left. And let's march it out. If you're ready, we're going to start with that first one minute verse. Now it's a jumping jack for one minute. If you don't want to do those jacks or your body's not warmed up yet, just do a low impact. The full jack, of course, looks like this. So let's go. One minute. Low impact is fine. If you're up to tempo, let's just do a quarter turn. Quarter turn left. up and in front, up and in front. Just keep moving, again. Keep moving. We've got 
got 20 seconds to go. Again, mix it up, maybe low impact and up to tempo. Listen to your Don't overdo it as we get started here. Woo, we're about to channel that inner yogi. And here we go, just walk it out. We're gonna do a couple of yoga type moves. I'm gonna adjust this just a little bit if I'm successful here. And let's bring those feet together as close as you can. Inhale, bring those arms up, reach through your fingertips. Exhale down. Once more, great big breath in. Bring the palms together, reach through your fingers. Inhale. Exhale, easy side bend to the right. Inhale up. Exhale, easy side bend to the right. Inhale, bring it back to center. As you exhale, framing the ears with the arms, easy forward fold, chin to chest, each vertebra of the spine. Once you start to feel those hamstrings engage, flatten out the back to a tabletop. Hands to, the, to those hip bones, inhale. Exhale, push the hands back, squeeze those hips, palms to the ceiling, reach through your fingers. I want you to think about that right leg. Now again, there's no good spot for me to be in so you can see me, but I'll just do my best. Also, just listen to my guidance here. You're thinking about that right leg. You're gonna bring the hands down, step back with the right leg. Bring the hands to the inside of that left foot. Little softness in that knee, bring that right arm up. Bring it back, power pose, bring those hands up. Now if you need that stool or that chair, go right ahead. Both hands down, inhale, exhale, right arm up, open it up, stretch it out. Bring it back, power pose, second time. Bring it on down, inhale, exhale, right arm up, reach through your fingers, exhale, bring it on down. Power pose, Woo! Hand comes down. We're gonna do five of these. Open it up, this is our last one. Bring that hand down, power pose. If you're sliding, just reposition those arms. In four, three, two, hands to your thighs. Frame the foot. Step that left foot back, high plank, hold here for four, three, two, inhale, lift those hips up, look to your toes, walk those feet in, and then forward fold up, round it up, roll it out. Take a couple steps here, big breath in, feet as close together as you can. And then inhale a second time, bring it on up, palms touch. Inhale a third time, reach through your fingertips, exhale, easy side bend to your left. Inhale up. Exhale, easy side bend to the left. Inhale up. Exhale, framing the ears with the arms, chin to chest, easy forward fold. Bring it on down and down. I guess I, oh, this way is fine. Bring it on down and down. Flatten out that back tabletop. Reach the hands behind you. Reach through your fingertips. Top of the head reaching for the wall in front of you. Thinking about your left leg this time. Bring those hands down. Step back with that left leg. Bring both hands to the inside of that right foot, right at that arch, that instep. And then inhale, open it up to the left. Bring it back down, power pose. Woo. Bring it on down, inhale, exhale, open it up. Reach for your fingertips, or look to your fingertips. Bring it down, power pose, make a little fist. 
You can always hold on to the wall or a chair if you need to. Hands come back down, big breath in, exhale, open this up. Hand comes back to the floor, fists up, third time, we got this. This is a little more challenging than one might think. Both hands down, big breath in. If your feet start to slide on the floor, just fix that position, then come back to what we're doing. Last time, bring it down, inhale, exhale, open it up, reach. Hand comes back down, power pose, four, three, two hands to the thighs, frame the foot, step back with your right leg, high plank, elbow soft, knees soft, down dog, your toes. Now on this one, we're just going to do some alternating heel presses. Now start to walk the feet in, bending the knees, walk them right up to your hands. Drop down, round up. Roll the back. We've got a cardio burst. That cardio burst is gonna be mountain climbers. I'd like for you to take it down to the floor and run through it. You don't have to. You can put your hands against the wall and run. If you've got a secure piece of furniture, you can take it here and run. You can do jack legs if you like. Or you can walk through that mountain climber. Woo! Three, two, one, let's go! Run! Just run that climber or walk through or against the wall. Keep going! You can jump jack legs. Feeling it in your inner thighs, probably tops of the thighs too. Lift that right heel. Lift the left heel. Right heel is down. Okay, you want to do it, I'll do it. Both heels up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Push that heel down. Push, push, push both heels down. Push up through your heels. Woo! <laughs> Let's walk it out. Now I'm going to use this chair or this stool, and I'm also going to use this cloth. But again, my floors are slippery. These are hardwood floors. So take your time here. I've got this stool right in front of my left leg. And I've got that left knee, a nice little bend here. I'm going to slide it out, bring it in. Slide it out, bring it in. 
Don't overdo it. You don't want to put micro tears in those inner thigh muscles. Slide it out, together. Out, together. Those of you who are feeling real confident here, maybe you're in your socks on wall-to-wall um, -wall carpeting, you could add a little weight. You could add a nice little two-pound dumbbell, four-pound dumbbell, um, a can of beans, 16 ounces, is about a pound. 32 ounces, almost two pounds, so that's perfect. We're gonna do six more right here. I think I said eight, we're gonna end up doing about 16. Three more. Engage the core, stand up straight and tall. Even though you're bending that knee, you're not leaning into it. Draw it back in, nice job. Let's move that stool if you're using it. Let's start with that left leg. Nice bend forward. You know, just, just a teeny bend in your right leg. Let's slide it away and back. Out and back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six more. Four more, three, two, now slide away, just a slight pause here, engage the core, slide that foot back in, nice job. And we're still gonna use the stool. If you've been using the stool, you want it. If you haven't used the stool yet or you didn't grab one, you can use the wall. I'm just gonna pick up a five pound dumbbell, but again, take what you've got. All right, so, I've got a little bend in my weight-bearing leg, my left leg. Left leg, left hand are on that chair or on that wall. Right arm overhead. Let me see if I can back up just a little bit. Right hand is gripping that weight. I've got my knuckles toward my, my ear. Arm is up. We're going to tuck, tiny tap to the floor. Tuck, tiny tap to the floor. Three. Now I'm turning to the side. I'm really tucking in. I'm shortening the distance from the top of the pubic bone to the bottom of the sternum. My skin is dry skin. Keep going. Turns out my body is dry. Just tuck, tap, tuck, tap, tuck, tap, tuck, tap. Now I'm not putting my body weight on that right toe again. It's just a teeny tap. And two more, last one. Bring that leg straight back arm out in front. So it's just really put a nice bend in your left leg now. Push and a little glute squeeze. Two, three, four. You're gonna feel it up the back of the hamstring, right into those three glute muscles. Those muscles are nice and close to the surface. They're actually kind of a lot of volume to them. And so it's really easy, if we get the right exercise, it's really easy to work them. But again, it has to be that right exercise, so push it back. And really, as many of these as you could do, that would be fine. If you're on a Zoom call, maybe you stand up one hand on the um, door casing, on the door jam, and the other leg just pushing back, and then you'll switch sides in just a moment. We're gonna pause here. Palms to the ceiling, bring your heel to your butt. So it's one, two, three. You've got a nice angle on that leg. It's not down here on the floor and you're just doing a little knee kick. It's angled back, nice bend in the left leg. Four more, three, two, and one. Set that weight down, roll out your wrist, wiggle out those fingers, move to the other side. We've got that left leg, uh, left leg is in motion, right leg is your weight bearing leg, little bend here, bring that left arm up, tuck, tap, tuck it in, tap, really use those deep core muscle, four, five, six, you're in control, seven, eight, eight more, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, little pause, slide that left.
left leg back, increase the bend in your right leg, arm comes forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more. One, two, three. Increase the bend in that weight bearing leg. Four more. Three, two, pause here. Palm to the ceiling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Woo! Move this out of your way. Set that weight down. Again, roll out those wrists, wiggle out those fingers. We got our one minute cardio burst. Again, you burst if you want or you move through it a little more slowly. These are squat hops in three, two, one. Here we go. Squat, pop it up. Squat, pop it up. Squat, pop. The first four seem pretty straightforward. And then five, oh, my thighs are feeling it. Six, even worse. Seven, eight. Keep going. I'm 15 seconds in. Now, what's the accommodation? Here and up. Here and up. Woo! Pop it if you can. Pop it. Leave your feet. Oh! Woo! Halfway there. Sit through those heels. Even if you're not doing the cardio plyometric hop, follow through. Really sit through. Stick your backside out to the wall behind you. 15 seconds. Five seconds. One more. Woo! Oh, another virtual high five. Nice job. Oh, where are we? We got a little classic calisthenics. So pick up your weights, your um, can of beans, your whatever. Now these are going to be alternating forward lunges. So without the weight, it's going to look like this. Feet together, step forward. Now you're dropping straight down. I'm not leaning. Now if you don't really want to do, let's do some bicep curls on this one. If you don't want to do the alternating forward lunges, you can always take it to a forward lunge and then just hold here and then switch legs. You can step forward, so there's your accommodation. Now, if you're able to do those alternating forward lunges, let's take it to an overhead press. Here we go. One, two, three. Again, you can always hold the lunge and focus on the arm work. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Roll your shoulders back. How are you doing? Feet about shoulder width apart. Bend at the hip flexor. Hands to your thighs as we start. Four easy squats. Just down and up for four. Three, two, and one. Now it's an abduction. Left arm in the air. Right leg lifts that weight. Two, three, Four, four squats. I'm going to push those arms forward. Go right ahead. Two, three, and four. Bring it up. Abduct to the left. One. Let the left leg do the work. Two, three, and four. Nice job. Two squats. Two abductions. Remember, our videos are always here. Two squats. Two abductions. You can replay these anytime. One squat, one abduction. Or you can just save them and watch them later. Again, they get, they get stuck right here indefinitely on this Siegel JCC Facebook page. Anna also uploads them to our YouTube channel. So if you have friends or family that really don't do Facebook, they can always do the workout on YouTube. You guys can do it together. You can do a watch and move party. Woo! I'm trying to 
change the subject here. <laughs> Sit through that squat, abduct, right leg. Abduct, left leg, here we go. We're doing great. We got four more. One, three more. Two, two more. This is our last one. Squat right here. Four, three, two, one. Hands to your thighs, chin to chest, round it up. Roll those shoulders back. Weights or no weights? Right leg steps back in that curtsy. One, two. We're gonna try an upright row. One, two. Now you wanna keep your body forward even as you step that leg back. It's more like just a step out to the side. It's not really a, a lateral squat or anything like that. Upright row. Last one. Walk it out. Change hands. Roll out that wrist. If you want to do it a couple times, find your place without the weights. That's fine. So my shoulders are forward, hips are forward. Stepping back. Here we go, upright row if you can. Left arm. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Woo! Nice job. Now you can take yourself right down to the floor. Or if you're like me, you're on hardwood, maybe put down a mat. And in fact, I'm just gonna fold this in half. Take your time getting down to the floor. Use the muscles in your core, use the muscles in your legs. Take it on down, hand to the floor. Move to your hips. Feet out in front, sit up straight and tall, big breath in. Exhale, chin to chest, hands to the backs of the thighs. C shape with the body. Begin to pose, pushing the shoulders behind you, not lifting, lifting up and shortening the distance to your thighs, but pushing back. Both hands in the air if you can. If you can't, just alternate one arm and then the other. Four, three, two. Pause here, look to your belly. Inhale, bring yourself up, lengthen. Shoulders down and away. Big breath in. Exhale, chin to chest, scoop it out, hands to the backs of the thighs, all the way down. Now if I disappear, don't worry about it. Think about you, all the way down, tilt your pelvis, slide your feet in about two inches. Feet are shoulder width apart, knees strong to the ceiling, big breath in. Exhale, chin to chest, fingertips to the base of the skull, up and down, up and down, three, Four, keep that tempo. When you take it down, you're not lying back on the floor. You're not putting all your body weight on the floor. In fact, if you can, don't go all the way back. Go almost to the floor. Then just that little crunch. Keep going. Little crunch, just that classic crunch. down, up and down, take it eight, seven, six, five, now your hands are supporting your head if you need it, but they're not lifting or pulling, we already did the arm work, lift and pause at a pulse, two, three, look to your belly, one, two, three, one, two, three, Four. We've got four more. Four, three, two. All the way down. Hug those knees in. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to do you sit ups and then we'll do a stretch. So just some classic calisthenics here. Big breath in. Exhale, chin to chest. Push the thighs away. Lift the heels up. Two 90 degree angle. Lower leg to thigh. Thigh to torso. Fingertips to the base of the skull. Tuck. Push it away, tuck it in, push it away. Chin to chest, look to the belly as you bring it up. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Halfway there, eight more. Tuck, push, tuck, push, tuck, push, tuck. Four more, one, two, three, and four, draw those knees in, shoulders down, head down, look right. Look left, inhale. 
rotate those feet on your ankles. Reverse direction. Give those legs a little shake, a little wiggle and a jiggle. Woo! Cross the right leg in front of the left. Bend the left knee into the chest. Left hand to the back of the thigh. Inhale. Exhale. Add some pressure. Feel the stretch on the right side. As you exhale this time, left foot to the floor, right leg into the air, lift your chin to your chest, look to your belly, push that right, that left leg away, shoulders up, head up. Inhale, lift that left leg, hold on to the left leg, slowly lower the right. Inhale, lift that right leg, shoulders down, head down. Cross the left leg in front of the right. Bend that right knee into the chest. Move your right hand to the back of that right thigh. Add a little pressure. Now I know for some of you, you've got a lot going on in your household. <laughs> Kids, K-I-D-S, I know. So do what you can do, but if you can do this stretch, make them do it with you. This is so good for your body. If you did that whole workout or most of the workout, maybe you had some minor interruptions, awesome. If you can get this stretch, do it. Alrighty, big money stretch here. Both legs in the air, inhale, draw both knees into the chest. As you exhale, push your knees to the right, eyes and arms to the left. Breathe. If you can, keep that left shoulder on the floor. That really just makes this a much more powerful stretch for you. It's such a nice thing to do for your back. Again, no pain here, just a nice stretch. Inhale, draw those knees in, hug them in close, pull the knees to the shoulders, thighs to the belly, inhale. Exhale, knees to the left, eyes and arms to the right. Oh, again, hold the stretch, but not your breath. Try and keep that right shoulder down. Inhale deeply through your nose. As you exhale, upper body rolls to the left side too. Just follow those knees. Push those hands. Push yourself up with your hands. I'm going to move back to my little mat. Straddle those legs. Walk the hands out in front. Bend the elbows. Little pulse. <clears throat> Keep the left hand where it is. Let the right hand frame that right leg. Little pulse. Neck is part of your spine. Don't try and look out the window or spy on anybody in your house. Look down at your leg. Bring that hand back to center. Left leg frames the left leg. Little pulse here. Walk that hand back in. Both hands are in the front. Bend the elbows. Drop the head down. Look between those hands. Tuck your chin into your chest. Round up. This is for your back. Big breath in. Inhale up. Exhale, just windmill side to side, side to side. One more each leg. Then big breath in, shake out those legs, shake out the arms. Bend in your knee. I'm still here. Sorry about that. I'm telling you, that's the hardest part of all of this is this technology. And maybe even for you as the viewer. So the whole thing just fell over, but... All is well. I'm still here. You're still there. Big breath in. Reach, stretch, and let it go. Big breath in. Eyes follow the hands. Up, up, up. Exhale. Push through your forearms. Give yourself a little pat on the back. A little applause. You did a great job. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for giving purpose to my days. I hope that I give you some purpose or maybe some distraction from your days, but you did a great job. Woo! Virtual high five, take good care, and I will see you next week.